I find myself this weekend explaining myself. That's what I feel like I'm doing. Why does someone who extols the self-transforming elf machines of the DMT space also claim to be a conservationist, also, you know, have a mathematical dog and poodle show? Well, it's because all of these things emerge out of the concrescence of consciousness, its intention toward its own transformation. Nature is the answer. Not, it's not enough to be like Wordsworth. It's not enough to, uh, this is not, you know, Mao Zedong said the revolution is not a dinner party. And certainly the ecological revolution is not a dinner party. Poetic sensitivity to the death of the planet is not what we're striving for here. What we're striving for is to halt, overturn, and back out of the impending death of the planet. It is very clear now that consciousness will decide that the planet, there are not rosy futures of uh, suburban housing and ratatouille to be extended endlessly into the future. We are approaching a bifurcation where it is either going to become heaven or hell, one or the other. And I think that this archaic intuition, which I see reaching clear back to the uh, birth of the 20th century and the 19th century, back to people like Alfred Jarry and uh, Guillaume Apollinaire and the pataphysi pataphysicians, the surrealists, the physicists around Einstein, Freud, modern art, modern dance, jazz, uh, all of this stuff uh, is an effort to reclaim the primitive to reclaim the archaic, to reject all that powdered wig algebra that comes down through the French-English-German tradition of constipated male dominance. <laughs> and instead, you know, uh, intuit, that's what it is in Freud and Jung and, and the New Age, and intuit our way out. But now, we're clo it, the intuition is rising to the surface. We no longer have to uh, operate without uh, the presence of the goal firmly in hand. The goal can now be stated. What this is all about is a return to archaism with the lessons learned in history. That's where we were happy. The fall was a fall into a veil of tears, into a world of uh, limitation and pain and suffering and infectious disease and so forth and so on. It's a prodigal journey into a lower dimension that can now be ended by a collective cultural decision to commit to this Taoist, shamanistic, feminized, cybernetic, caring, aware, present, kind of being. I mean, it's nothing more than what each of us is in our very best moments. But we have to extend those very best moments to fill whole lifetimes. Uh, you know, think of the number of people who suffered and died that we could sit under this tree this morning. I mean, in the last million years, nine times the glaciers have ground south from the poles, freezing the world into ice and confining human populations to subtropical valleys and the warm tropics. Nine times the interglacial periods have come and human populations have spread out over the earth. They had, uh, they didn't have radio, they didn't have antibiotics, contraception, uh, statistical analysis, or the partial differential equation and yet somehow they managed to get us here are we then as the heirs of that wave front of the inheritors of a billion year process are we in one generation to turn it into a massive pottage I think not I certainly hope not I would like to believe that we could make that uh, leap to conscious awareness that would allow us to take hold. Now, the problem, it was easy the first ten years that I sat before you, because what we were doing 
was getting to know each other to verify that we in fact existed that I wasn't crazy you weren't crazy so forth and so on now what looms ahead is the mess of politics and this I'm sure you have no stomach for I certainly don't I'd rather be stoned and uh, <laughs> rocked in the arms of the goddess but as a matter of fact this dominator thing is not going to be unhooked and put to bed without a struggle everyone is going to have to be counted I've talked to you in recent months about memes memes being the smallest potential units of ideas they're like genes we are the nucleus of a mutant meme the meme of plant consciousness hallucinogenic consciousness shamanistic consciousness we have to refine this meme replicate it through repetition and spread it through society in the same way that a plant sheds seeds into an ecosystem the idea will compete the idea is a good one it's adaptive it's clever it's tough it's invasive it can make use of many contexts to promote its own existence but it can't do any of that if we don't replicate it and get it out so uh, I see these kinds of meetings as an opportunity for building community as an opportunity for people to look around themselves and connect with the other people who are here we cannot be told from the rest of the population unless we self-select and gather together at a single point in space and time when we do that we recognize each other when this meeting is concluded we will merge back into the larger stream of the body politic but carrying this meme of the Gaian resurgence the Gailanic wave that must come I mean, people say it's so wonderful that you articulate these feminist ideas and so forth. I do it because I don't want to be dead. I do it because I don't want my children to have no world to live in. There is no choice. It's, uh, it, the walls are high and the current is moving very fast. What we need to do is merely uh, keep our spirits high and learn to sing the song.